Hello. Welcome to this video on creating the first pay run. In this video, we will cover how to create and process the first pay run. Before we begin, let's discuss the difference between a pay group and a pay run. A pay group divides employees by pay frequency and similar pay components. A pay run uses the pay components and the pay slip values from processing to finalize those pay slips by group. Now that we have completed the first two steps, to create the pay group and enter the pay slip values, let's create the first pay run. To begin, locate and select pay run from the main menu on the left. Select create pay run schedule. Choose the pay frequency you are creating the pay run for. The pay group will display automatically. Select the day of the week your pay period commences. Select the tax year. Select the tax year range. Select the first pay run period. This is the date range of the first processing period for employees in the selected pay frequency. The payment date will default based on the date selected in the first pay run period. To change this, click on the calendar and select a date. Click on Create Schedule. At the top of the screen the pay run details will display. Here you'll see the employees in the pay group that you've set the schedule up for. On the right the pay run breakdown is displayed. You can select each employee to look at their payment detail. Employees are listed with relevant gross earnings, taxable benefits, deductions, PAYE, contributions, and net pay. After making all necessary changes to individual employees, click Review and Complete. On the right-hand side, a summary indicates the number of employees paid, the cost for the company, and the pay date. Under Employee and Employer Contributions, you will find a breakdown of the contributions and deductions in this pay run by the employees and by the company. If you scroll down further, you can find a breakdown per employee. Click Confirm and Complete Pay Run. A confirmation page with information about the pay run will display. You can also find a shortcut to send pay slips to the employees in Sage HR and a shortcut to pay your employees. To learn more about paying your employees, please refer to the video entitled Payments. Click on Close. We are back to the pay runs screen. Once a first pay run has been created for a pay group, the dates for future pay runs are automatically defined. This button will allow you to edit the pay group. This button allows you to view the pay run calendar, which displays the pay runs marked for each pay period for the rest of the year. You may also insert an additional pay run, which could be convenient for an off-cycle pay run, such as an annual bonus. If you need to skip a pay run for a pay group, you may use this button. To process the next pay run, simply click Process Pay Run and follow the same steps. Finally, processed pay runs can be reviewed at any time under All Pay Runs. You may use these buttons to display the pay run, pay employees for the pay run, or to revert a pay run. Note that the Revert Pay Run option is only available for the latest pay run. We only recommend using this option if you have not yet paid employees or distributed their pay slips. Congratulations! You now know how to process a pay run in Sage HR and Payroll. Thank you for watching.